Hello there, Happy New Year. My name is Mark Barabas, your data protection pal, and wishing one and all a happy 2021. Looking forward to a better year this year, and also looking forward to uh, traveling with uh, more borders opening up with the virus vaccine being available to more people now. Hopefully they can produce more vaccines so that we all can start to travel very soon. So on to some news on privacy matters and cybersecurity as we turn over from 2020 to 2021. One of the biggest news that caught uh, the public eye this uh, turn of the new year or turn of the decade rather is that the Singapore Parliament has uh, made, it, made it open that the Trace Together data uh, Trace Together is an app developed by the government that tracks the location of citizens uh, for the purpose of contact tracing uh, because of the prevention of the spread of the COVID-19 virus. So now the data apparently is able to be uh, assessed by the lawmakers and the police in certain circumstances and that brought about several debates among the members of parliament so much so that just three days after the mention about this law uh, that the, the police can access the data that a law has been passed for law enforcers as to how they can uh, assess the, da the data in the trace together system and it's can be used apparently for what they call serious crimes the whole entire list of what serious crime means and I urge you to read the articles uh, in detail but the question is is our data really really safe with the Singapore government and I wonder how the different countries outside Singapore will look at this law because there's so much uh, talk about privacy and the human rights of personal data and access of data. We all also know about Apple and how they protect the data of the customers not even revealing certain data to the federal government in the US. So let's see how this plays out in uh, weeks to come. So on to outside Singapore. Um, Solar winds, huge data, a uh, huge cyber attack that happened uh, just before the turn of the decade, and there's so much things to learn from this cyber attack. Where Solar is such a big company, and what happened was that their cloud security was hacked terribly. So we look forward to, uh, or rather, we look forward to learning from this particular uh, incident by reading this article. I really urge you to read this article. Five steps to fortify your cloud supply chain and those of you who are using cloud devices well uh, probability of attacks are of course dependent on uh, the hacker and your luck but really we have if you are running a big company it's very important to at least have basic level cloud security and I do recommend the one I mean I personally use the Microsoft OneDrive because there is actually this thing called the vault I think it's the one of the only uh, big software companies that have this 2FA function on the cloud. So look into it. So other news, uh, well, in general, the whole world has been, uh, uh, 2020 was actually a big year for data protection and several laws have been passed here and there and several uh, changes, of course, partly because of the purpose of contact tracing. We have people who are, uh, against the idea of contact tracing but you know this is where public health supersedes the need for for data protection and I personally am uh, very um, well I'll say I uh, twist I'm not uh, pull apart because while we want privacy you also want protection and safety so that I guess it's a give and take but what is important is I think the ethos of how companies collect and use the data they collect or not just even companies but the governments as I mentioned earlier in the first article on the Singapore government giving access to the trace together system to the lawmakers or law enforcers rather. So last but not least despite the many different laws all over the world uh, just a reminder that despite the uncertainty there are definitely uh, data protection regulations all over the world and I believe they will continue to be uh, stricter and more enforced with the GDPR coming in place and many other countries uh, 
putting in their own local regulations. We see Brazil, we see Dubai, we see New Zealand, we see uh, many smaller countries starting to put up their data protection regulations. And if we are going to do business, or me included, in the 21st century beyond COVID-19, data protection, data security is definitely going to be something very important. So let us work together to build our data security and apply good practices, even best practices to our businesses so that we ensure the, uh, well, ethical use and collection of data. So this is Mark Barabas, your data protection pal, and I love to look forward to meet up with you very soon. And in Singapore, if you are interested to test out a data protection game that I created, please be in touch with me. Uh, you can always contact me via the LinkedIn contacts in front or just ping me below. Alright, so see you then, have a good day and be safe.